could, from your own professional practice, can you can you talk about um, how this uh, these kinds of changes to taxation affect people's investment decisions? Well, they greatly uh, they greatly impact it. Um, you know, I'll go back to one of the questions that was asked to me earlier, which is, you know, are people leaving Canada because of this? And the short answer is yes. And they're taking their investment dollars with them and placing them in a more friendly environment. In this mobile world, you don't have to place your money in Canada. Foreigners don't have to place their money in Canada. And we're not seeing a lot of foreign investment. So as cap capital appears, to, the, the capital flow from Canada is outward. Canadians are taking their money and investing it in other countries. Uh, what impact does that have on employment in Canada? Oh, it has a devastating impact. I, I, I'm working on a file right now where a very significant Ontario employer is packing up and leaving and, and moving to Florida. They don't need to be in Ontario. You know, they, they're homegrown Canadians, but they don't need to be here. And all these tax changes, and, the, and frankly, the capital gains was just the final straw. Um, so there are other, other tax policies up. under this government that have led to capital flight. <laughs> yeah, and I could list a lot of them if you want. Please. High personal tax rates, uh, changes to um, private corporations and their shareholders that was introduced in 2018, the anti-income splitting rules, even some of the real estate measures, the ridiculous short-term rental stuff, you know, people are, are uh, which is very, very ridiculous and dangerous, frankly, for Canada. And, you know, numerous floats by the Prime Minister's office of a wealth tax, which, of course, hasn't been, um, hasn't been implemented. And so, anyhow, long story short is all these things spook entrepreneurs and have them looking elsewhere. 